Lions and tigers and bears. Oh, my. You can see them all at Tigers for Tomorrow, a 140-acre wild animal preserve. We have about 165 animals here. Okay. We started out as a big cat facility, and then we kind of ranged into wolves and then into bears. Eight different species of cats and a grizzly that likes to entertain. You're a little mess. There are plenty of predators, but you'll also see more docile creatures, like all kinds of farm animals. Many arrived during the pandemic when neighbors who couldn't afford their animals brought them here. We have opened our doors basically to whatever animals are in need as long as we have the experience, the knowledge, and the room to take care of them for life because we are our last stop. So anything that comes here stays here for life. Now with restrictions lifting, the crew at Tigers for Tomorrow is expecting a big summer. We feel it's time to get out and have a good time. It's time for some environmental education to learn about the outdoors, to learn about animals and to have a good time. So we've put a lot of encounters in place. Good boy. That's when you can get up close and personal with an animal like Lima, the two-toed sloth. These guys are the slowest moving land mammals. They sleep about 15 to 16 hours a day, and they move a lot faster than people give them credit for. Really? If he needed to move, he can move. You can pet and feed Lima the second weekend of every month. There are also tortoises and capybaras. Owner Susan Steffens wants visitors to enjoy themselves and learn something while they're here. I want them to go away with the idea that all of these animals are individuals. They all deserve respect and dignity. They all have likes and dislikes and make choices and that they're not mean animals. And we want them to take their lessons learned here and apply them to their lives when they go home.